Hello everyone, this is Ambi. I uh, hope you guys are all doing fine. Uh, today we want to talk about uh, input and output in Python 3.7. So I'm planning on uh, doing a series on Python 3.7. Uh, let me first change the theme here to dark. Uh, okay, so you will find you can find all these notes, Jupyter Notebook notes. I can go to my uh, no, a repository here on GitHub and uh, well how to get there what you can do is you can uh, go here all right we'll just show you here no. how to get there if you want i mean i have a direct link uh pasted out there but still right i can go to github my landing page and then github then repository Right, the first one should be learning Python, the most recently updated. I'll go to Python, I know, uh, three point seven. Uh, just be here if you want to be notified. Uh, uh, if you spend most of your time on GitHub, uh, I recommend you do. If you are planning to uh, be in the coding field or stay updated or learning uh, anything related to coding, right? So. Uh, click on watch so whenever I make some changes to this repository you will be notified So anyway for, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and uh, mark the title here. Let us say title Title Input Output hmm. Shift enter Now print Hello world, yeah so this is the output now i can do hello world huh okay let's say i will say site is and then and then say site so yeah it's printing whatever that i'm uh, wanted to print i can do also like this yeah same thing right what if I um, say like this, let's say I will do year equals 2019. As you can see, the color is green here. It's letting me know that, okay, these are two different types of variables. We'll cover that in future series here, right? So I can do this, I can do site here, this, uh, yep. And yeah, I can. Can I do this then? Yep, I can, right? So it's gonna be uh, top, right? So this is just the output. What if you want to take an input? Let's say first is my input. I'm gonna say input. What is your first name? Hmm. Oops. Yeah. And I'll just shift enter. So it created a box for me here. I will say, uh huh, that in the right. So I'm gonna say uh, first. So it's printing my first name. So here I created an input for the user to input something. I entered the input. I did the input. I entered my first name, and then I printed it out. It's the output. Yeah. Uh, you do this. Same thing. Let's uh, do another one. Last is input. Oops. Input. What is your last name? Yeah. I'm going to say MB. Okay. And I will say shift enter last. So it's printing my first name, last name. Let's do another one. Age is input. What is your age? Hmm. Right. I'm going to say age. It's printing out my age. But as you see, there is a quotation around this age. That means it's a string. So let's enforce the type of uh, you know, uh, input. That a person gives right so i'm going to say int as an integer 
and I'll say what is your age again yeah I'm gonna say one zero zero eight and let's say age now see say type age so it's an integer now uh, not a string what if I want to make it as uh, what if someone enters a string and I want to make it an integer well by default it takes everything as string so you can enforce the type of input uh, by doing this by enclosing the entire input into the type of data that you wanted to transform it as then okay so yeah so when you collected this input what if you uh, want to type this all in one line so your full name first last I have to say is and you are age young okay so this is method one huh your full name is Gajendra Ambi and you are 1008 years young hmm, I should have said years young okay so I can do the same thing here it's not actually a method too but yeah you know still there's a difference in how you did it so let's call it a method too it can be uppercase or lowercase f stands for formatting now there is another old way which is kind of deprecated which people still use it anyway so yeah so what you do is you create these placeholders right and then you say format you say first last age yeah and then say method three Mm, okay, I'm gonna say method three old here, huh? right? Then I will have another way of doing it. That is, your full name is percentage s stands for string. Percentage s stands for uh, stands for string, and you are. Mm, Okay, and you are years young, right? And you are percentage D as in uh, digit. Yes, young format first, last. Oops, oops, oops. It's not format, sir. It is percentage. And first, last age. Yeah, so your full name is Gajendra Ambi and you are 1000 years young. So I want you to go ahead and um, get this notebook from uh, my GitHub page. Um, yeah, do your own uh, logic here, try to play with it, and you'll get a hang of it. So thank you for tuning in. Have a great one.